Hi, in this lecture we are going to discuss about the basics of oscillators. Then we will discuss about the principles of oscillator and uh, uh, we will also discuss about the Barkosan's criteria. Okay. So, if we are going to amplifier and block diagram. So, this is the block diagram of an amplifier. Here you can see amplifier amplifies the input signal. Okay, or input signal na amplify amplifier and this DC source is used to bias the BJT. This amplifier circuit lulla transistor na bias DC source use VCC and ground. Okay, input signal na amplify chey corresponding output signal. Amplified signal ana output Okay, now here you can see the block diagram of an oscillator oscillator in the block diagram oscillator does not have any input signal it does not need any input signal oscillators can be described as a source of alternating voltage oscillators in a alternating voltage in the source site describe because the output is Created without any input. One input is produced by the oscillator. Output is produced. So, oscillator, which means oscillating. Okay. So, it produces an alternating voltage. One oscillating voltage, one oscillating signal, is oscillator output. And this DC source is provided to bias the transistors. This oscillator circuit is a transistor. We provide the DC source. Okay. Now, if we are going here you can see amplifier produces amplified version of the input signal. So, input to kodutthal maathra namakka output to amplifier le kittu olu. Ok, input in a amplifier chayithu taana output le namakka le bikkunnadu. But, in oscillators it can be described as a source of alternating voltage. Source of alternating voltage which means it does not need any input signal. Clear? It produces an output waveform without any input signal without any input signal not the point dc source is used to bias the transistor okay now this dc source in oscillators and this dc source in the amplifier circuit is actually used for biasing the transistors okay that is why dc source use so this is the major difference between amplifier and oscillator this is the amplifier and oscillators in the major difference okay in a major difference in the way, amplifiers negative feedback on you say oscillators positive feedback on you say okay positive feedback on the oscillators you say other important difference on okay now let me go to the principles of oscillator or oscillator the principle working principle here you can see this is a simple uh, representation of a uh, amplifier circuit. An amplifier circuit in the representation of the amplifier circuit. Okay. This is oscillator working. Okay. Here you can see we have an input voltage VI. VI input voltage. And we will get an output voltage, output signal V0. Output signal is the output signal. Amplifier in the open loop gain is A in the parayana. So this is an amplifier circuit. This is an amplifier circuit. This is an open loop gain. Aana. Yes, A in the parana. Okay. Now, this e output voltage in a thirichin number input lake the negotiator under. This is the number of feedback in the parana. Okay. So, our output voltage in a fraction on the number of input lake add a j another. Okay. Other one than a year fraction and number beta feedback factor in the parana. So, Feedback or output voltage in the fraction on the input like add another. So that fraction is beta. Okay. That's why we add the VF. Feedback voltage in the parana beta V0. Beta in the fraction. Output voltage in the parana number one key to kernel angle. Beta can be 0.1 or 0.2. So we will get a VF is equal to 0.1 V0 or 0.2 V0. Something like that. So VF in the parana beta V0. Number the feedback voltage in the parana. In the case of the user, it is positive feedback. In the amplifier, we use negative feedback. But in the case of oscillators, we are using positive feedback. Positive feedback is what we use. That is why we add the VF signal to the input signal. 
ओके सो एफक्टीव वोलटेज वि इ प्लस वि एफ आो इन दि सर्क्यूट वि कैन रईट इन So the V zero can be written as V zero is equal to a into V in. Okay, V zero in the bar is a that is the open loop gain into V in. V in is the input voltage. Okay, and again the effective voltage here the effective voltage can be written as V effective V e is equal to V i plus V f. ओके वि ई इनपुट वोल्टेज वि एफ एंड फीड्बैक फैक्टर फीड्बैक वोल्टेज सो इवे प्लस सीमपि वरान्ल रीसन नोसीटीव फीड्बैक यूस नेगटीव फीड्बैक आनपुट फीड्बैक वोल्टेज माइनस ओके ओसलेटर के नोसीटीव फीड्बैक यूस वि आर् यूसी पॉसीटीव सिग्नल पॉसीटीव सीमपल विच मीन द फीड्बैक वोल्टेज आडड टू द इनपुट सिग्नल ओके सो ईर इक्वेश नमक वि ई एप्रसंट सो दि क्या बी ऋट आज द इक्वेशन नंबर वन दि क्या बी ऋट आज द इक्वेशन नंबर टू नौ वि आर् सब्स्टिट्यूटिंग सब्स्टिट्यूट इक्वेशन नंबर टू इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके वि वि गेट वि जीरो इज ईक्वल टू ए इंटु वि ई प्लस वि एफ ओके वाट वि एफ नमक वि एफ एंड वि एफ इज ईक्वल टू बीट इंटु वि जीरो वि नो दैट सो वि कैन सब्स्टिट्यूट दैट वालू सो वि कैन सिंप्ली रईट टू वि जीरो इज ईक्वल टू ए इंटु वि ई प्लस बीट वि जीरो ओके सो वि कैन रईट अगेन रईट वि जीरो इज ईक्वल टू ए इंटु वि ई प्लस ए बीट इंटु वि जीरो ओके सो वि जीरो नमुक इपते सैडिले को सो वि कैन सिंप्लि रईट वि जीरो इंटु वण माइन ए बीट ईस ईक्वल टू ए इंटु वि ई ओके इन नमक जनरल इक्वेशन कनरल इक्वेशन नमुक कदा ओके वि जीरो इंटु वण माइन ए बीट ईस ईक्वल टू ए इंटु वि ई ओके पक्षे नु नमक नाम ओसीलेट वी डो हाव एनी इनपुट वोल्टेज नमुक इनपुट वोल्टेज सो वि कैन वि कैन ऋमूव दि सेंशन ईर स नमक पटो नमुक ऋमूव ईर स नोवा वि ई एपक्षन नोवा कई अल वि ई एपुक जीरो कंसीडर ओके सो वि कैन रईट इन ओसीलेट वि ई इज ईक्वल टू सीरो नमक वि ई इज ईक्वल टू सीरो सो वि कैन सिंप्लि रईट वि जीरो इंटु ए बीट ईस ईक्वल टू जीरो ओके जीरो पेट नमुक सो ईर कंशन साफ नमुक ओसीलेट ऊटपुट सो वि जीरो इज नोट जीरो ओके वि जीरो नमुक जीरो अल वि हाव ऊटपुट सो वि जीरो इज नोट जीरो Okay, here we can uh, write here v zero not equal to zero. V zero zero is like, because we have output under oscillator na output under. So, here the condition satisfy che yana me under angle. We have to write one minus a beta is equal to zero. Right? Here the time I reckon am zero out under. Because we have here output is zero. Get under me under angle. V zero is not zero. So This term should be zero. And now, let's make end here multiply by zero. Get told. So we can write one minus a beta is equal to zero. So we can simply write that means we can simply write a beta is equal to one. Right? A beta is equal to one. We can simply write like write like that. Right? So here we can say here we can say the closed loop. gain must be 1 or we can say unity right so we can uh, simply write the modulus of a beta okay modulus of a beta should be equal to unity 
and again one more condition is there which is the angle angle of a beta that is that is we can write angle of a beta our uh, closed loop gain the angle should be 0 degree or we can say 360 degree that is there should not be any phase difference phase difference undavan paadilla ennana artham there should not be any phase difference there should not be any phase difference clear so e rendu condition satisfy cheyumbolana namukku sustained oscillation so we can uh, say the condition for sustained oscillation as the magnitude of the loop gain of the circuit must be unity that is modulus of a beta should be equal to 1 okay that is the first condition and second condition is the phase shift of the loop gain a beta should be 0 or we can say 360 degree that is angle of a beta should be equal to 0 degree or we can say 360 degree okay now this requirement is called barkosen's criteria This requirement ne aanu nammal barkosen criteria ennu parayunnathu barkosen criteria satisfy cheythal maatramaanu namukku sustained oscillation lebikkunnathu Okay, now this sustained oscillation in the line or example in case one. There are some cases. Uh, case one, case one. In the case one, when a beta less than one, a beta less than one now in the time, so uh, suppose this is the case one, this is the case two, this is the case three, this is the case four, this is the case five, this is the case six, this is the case seven. So, we have oscillating signal. So, a beta less than 1 is the signal oscillating. That is the oscillation. That is the strength. Like that. Okay. Case 2. When a beta less than 1 is the signal oscillating. Case 2. Case 2. When a beta greater than 1. Greater than 1 now in the time. We have a graph. Like that. Okay. So a beta greater than one on the time le, oscillation the starting le strength to core go. Pinna namada strength kudi kudi oscillation the strength to kudi kudi verum. Okay, amplitude varying I go. Okay. Now when case three that is case three. That is when a beta equal to 1. That is our Barkosen criteria. Okay. Modulus of a beta equal to 1. Our time is the graph. Oscillation on which means we are producing an alternating voltage. Okay. The graph is the sustained oscillation. That is throughout the entire time period, the amplitude of the output signal will be constant amplitude of the output will be constant amplitude of the output we can say the amplitude of the output will be constant throughout the oscillating period is a beta equal to one now in the time some way okay in the cases are not okay this uh, condition this condition is called sustained sustained oscillation oscillation that is the amplitude of the output signal will be constant right okay this is the oscillators in the basics so oscillator we can say it is a source of alternating voltage or input to the alternating output voltage produce in the circuits on oscillators in the okay and then the working principle on the mode okay Oscillator in the case, we don't have any input voltage, so we can uh, write Vi is equal to 0 and there is a so our case, we can get the uh, V0 into 1 minus a beta is equal to 0. Output voltage, we cannot uh, say V0 or we can say V0 not equal to 0. And we can say 1 minus a beta is equal to 0, so which means the modulus of a beta 
should be equal to unity. Okay. These two conditions. Modulus of a beta is equal to unity. And the angle of uh, a beta is equal to 0 degree or 360 degree. In the bar in the bar cosens criteria. Okay. So, it's three. We will oscillators in the case. We will say that there are three conditions. We will say a beta less than 1 now. We will say oscillation. Greater than 1 now. We will say oscillation. Equal to 1 now. We will say oscillation. We will say that. We will discuss it. I hope this session will be helpful for you. See you in the next session.